guys, Perry here again. And this week for Collider Behind the Scenes, we're actually gonna show you some action that goes down behind the scenes here at the office. We're gonna take you through a whole week of filming, so let's get it started. Okay, Wendy, keeper of the schedule. Yeah. Show me what you got here. So I have this magical door of schedules that I update. This is just like really for our production guys who make it, it's so much easier for them to just come to the door and read and see what's next versus, hey Wendy, what's next? And then if I'm not here, then nobody knows what's going on. We don't want that. So I can't tell if that's more for you or for them. Uh, well, I guess it's a little bit of both. I feel like the hardest show to schedule, not that it's hard, but it just takes a lot of arranging and ranking. Can I guess? Yes. Shmoda. That's a really good one, but it's actually movie talk. How do we start the day here so that we've got everything squared away and it runs smoothly? Well, what we do is first we run down through all the stories so nobody's caught by surprise. It also puts the the talent on the table in tune with the production guys behind the scenes that everybody knows what's supposed to happen and when. Then we go through pronunciations because there's a lot of weird names out there. The Legend of Tarzan screenwriter Adam Kozad. Yes. Kozad. Kozad. I'd say Zod because it's a better sound. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not Kozak. Any, uh, else, anything else significant that we don't have on the list? Nothing's, nothing's dropped. <laughs> okay, let's be on set in 10 minutes. We essentially have to set up all the cameras, all the shots. Uh, our cast gives us about uh, three and a half minutes to do that. So that, that always works out very nicely. Uh, I'm trying to frame up Perry right now, but it's just, she doesn't want to show us her posture when, when on camera. So it's really tough to frame her up. She likes to just lean back entirely into her chair. This is not the way she's gonna be sitting during the show. So when the show starts, the camera's like down here. It's horrible. Yep, there, there she goes again. This is uh, this is uh, very professional and uh, appreciate it. So before we go on Movie Talk, usually Wendy and I do like Snapchat filters because there's really amazing lighting right here. And then before I know it, I hear the countdown and I'm like, oh gosh, intro time. And the show starts. 10 seconds. We're shooting up. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey guys, and welcome to Collider Movie Talk, movie talk for movie fans. I'm your host, Natasha Martinez. Joining us on this show today is John Campia. Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to the best damn movie related show on the planet Earth. Coming to you from right here at the Collider Video Studios here in Burbank, California. Which one's mine today? That one. And we are so <laughs> glad you decided to make us part of your day. Get asked sometimes, how has movie talk changed from the beginning? Okay, we did it. Dennis and I did this from day one, for like from <laughs> from a, a converted storage closet. Now we've upgraded our cameras significantly. We have a jib now. We have a TriCaster, which helps a lot with graphics and all that stuff. It just it makes everything a lot easier, especially because we have so many more people as well. Guys, I see you here every single day. What the hell do you actually do? Wow, wow. Uh, we we have a pretty pretty big job uh, at the studio here. So this is our baby right here. Uh, all of our cameras come through it and we decide which cameras we cut to, uh, sometimes better than others. That'll do it for us guys. Thanks so much for joining us and until next time, bye bye. The TV talk crew has been frightened and now we are down to D Griff being our only cast member on set for now. 10 minus, <laughs> T minus 10 minutes till showtime. Will they make it to set? We'll find out. All right, well, as, as, per, as per usual, Sinead DeFries is late. As per uh, usual. And I texted her, but I haven't uh, gotten Yeah, you just give us a little text, like on the way or yeah. leaving the Defy yeah. right now. Hmm. Sinead, we see where we fall on the totem pole here, Jason. I mean, I can start wearing a wig. <laughs> yeah, I can sit in the seat over here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. you want to try it. I'm just going to wing it. Anyway. You want to wing it. See what happens. Okay. See what yeah. comes right. out there. So we're about, I think, th three or four minutes away from when we're supposed to start shooting this. And yeah, four minutes, going on three. And uh, Sinead's still not here. But the frame is good. She, the frame's pretty Whoa, good. Oh, Sinead DeFreeze! Let's hear it for her, guys. With two minutes to spare. Woo! Two minutes to spare. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! What the hell is going on? Two minutes to spare. <laughs> TV talk on three. One, two, three. TV, TV talk! talk. Woo! Woo! Ow! Ow! 
this is the most jazz the show has ever been. What's it like doing TV doc? First, a lot of stress because there's a ton to watch. And if you're not caught up on so much TV, people yell at you like, why didn't you mention American crime? Like we are trying so hard to appease as many people as humanly possible. There are so many shows. If it wasn't for this crew of people and the crew of people that have been on the show since day one, the amount of television you have to watch would drive you insane. You guys always for joining us. I'm Josh McCuga at Josh McCuga on Twitter and Instagram, the Josh McCuga show on YouTube. Collider TV talk every Monday here on Collider. See you next week. As always, put down the book, pick up the remote. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Open it on camera. Oh, behind the scenes. Open, Open it on up. camera. Let's do it. Congratulations. You've been awarded two movie certificates. Good for you. Some any participating IMAX theater near you. Run now home, where am I? Josh, run home. <laughs> <laughs> and don't stop. <laughs> there Oh no, not through there, yeah. <laughs> it's literally <laughs> the TV Dark! This will be live in nine and a half minutes. As you can see, graphics going very well. Going very well. Was Schnapp super prepared today? Did you guys have everything you yeah. need before you yeah. went into the shoot? You know, it was about an hour beforehand that we threw out all the graphics and then he told us to redo the graphics all kind of thing. It was yeah. all of the graphics. It's going to be fine. It's going to be just fine. We're going to figure this out once again. No one's going to know what the, the heroic efforts we took here. Hopefully when we get this, we'll, we'll start to get some cast members. Once again, cast members, MIA. Thank you, guys. Empty studio. Empty studio. Great. So let's see who we have in our conference room area. I hope that it's going to be the majority of our cast. We have two. We have two people. Uh, yes, yes, Christian Harloff, always a hoot. Um, guys, we're about nine minutes out uh, from going live here. Um, you're good. I am most excited about this 100th episode. We're actually like we're going through all the fan art. We even, we couldn't even get all of the fan art. Thank you, fans and awesome artists who watch our show, Collider Heroes. You suck! That was John Campia, ladies and gentlemen. He's Canadian, don't worry about it. All right, let's do a sound check, guys. Jeremy, go ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, what's going on, sweaties? <laughs> hey. hey. What's up? <laughs> what's up? What's up? <laughs> We're live, baby. It's John Campia. What's going on? What's up, everybody? 100th episode. <laughs> what, was, it, was it just you and me sitting like, I think like so. that, that little desk like one foot apart? Yes, it was. For the it was first just one. Was, uh, you know, me and John have been doing this for many years now, like four and a half years. And uh, John was like, hey, I think you should host this like like this nerd thing about superhero movies. And I was like, all right, let's do it. Back in the AMC days. Yep. It's a very special day here. It is. We just uh, we just finished uh, Collider Heroes uh, episode 100. We made a giant size special. Had a lot of panelists, a lot of the regular panelists come on. We used both sets. We rocked it. It was a lot of fun. We got through a lot of Twitter questions. We talked about the past, present, future of superhero comic movies, series, and comic books. So. I'm very happy with the way it rocked. For this episode in particular, yeah. a lot of planning went into it. Was there any part of it, just like the orchestration of it all, that had you a little freaked out? Literally getting all of these panelists and kind of workshopping that and making sure that we could do it within the time. We didn't want to go over 90 minutes because we're trying to keep you know, a 90 minute cap on shows. 90 minutes, we rocked it. I think we came in right at like 91 minutes. What's up, son? Check it. Huh? So I was really happy about that. It was five minutes late. It was, it was five minutes over, you know, but that's that's neither okay, here nor there. That's so fine. Okay, so Schnepp gave fine. himself a little, he gave himself like four minutes worth of credit there. <laughs> he was really happy with his with his work there, you know. He's like, I can't believe we did it. <laughs> well, you know, doing it is a little <laughs> strong. Uh, but, but but good job, Schnepp. It was, it was a fun oh. show. Fun show. The next show on the agenda is going to be Jedi Council, hosted by the one and only Christian Harloff. Um, as of right now, we are five minutes away from showtime. And as you can see, not a single cast member. Rat, uh, Rat just might uh, host a show for us today. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Okay. All right. It's got a mind of its own. I'm going to be first. Oh, first. Rat sighting. She's naked. <laughs> hey! See this? See, see the unprofessionalism here? Look at this. Oh man. 
Just want one proper frame for Barry's camera here. Is Frank yeah. a shot of all of us? Uh, in five, four, three, two. Jedi Council is the show where we really get to express our love for Star Wars. It was something that back in the AMC days, I was able to, I pitched it to John, we gave it a little trial run, and we couldn't be more thrilled to what it has become. There's just so much that Star Wars has brought to my life before I got involved in Jedi Council, and now there's just so much more since I've been involved with Jedi Council. The fans that have embraced this show, it just shows how much people love Star Wars. To hear people passionately talking about it, I think has meant a lot to others, so I'm very grateful to be able to do this show. Clear. <laughs> as far as post-production is concerned, we have a post-production supervisor, uh, Thad. My name is Thad Williams. I'm the post-production supervisor here at Collider. And so I'm in charge of all the editors and all the editorial that we do here uh, to make all these lovely videos. One of the biggest pieces of evolution that we've had as, uh, as an outfit here is the addition of dedicated writers. And this is a hardworking, dedicated, singularly focused team of people that move as one finely oiled machine. Rutabagas, rutabagas. <laughs> it's a rutabaga that has been m milled it's... down into a bagel. Spin off. It's this Friday, last show of the week, Schmodown. Let's check out behind the scenes. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. We're recording Schmo Down. You gotta get go. your pink uniform out of my face. You get your face no. out of my face. Come no. on, let's go, let's no. go. No, 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 no. I'm no. sorry. I'm sorry. Cody, don't no. start with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no spoilers. We can't show you Schmo Down right now, but we'll show you it on a later episode. For now, though, bloopers. Coming to you from right here at the Collider Video Studios here in Burbank, California, and we are so glad you decided to make us part of your day here in Burbank, California, and we are so glad. You decided to make us part of your day <laughs> here in Burbank, California. Which one's mine today? That one. And we are so glad you decided to make us part of your day. You're watching bloopers right now. Here's a There's a blooper for you. Your farts are so much better than mine. That's also a great gift. I want that in a gift, Frank. Please and thank you. That's my, my blooper. Mrs. Riley, um, what happened this morning? Well, I saw that you uh, went on the Facebook I don't know exactly how to spoil anything because I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> well, Mrs. Riley, that was just a character with, with, you know, Darth Vader from Star Wars. There's this really annoying guy in the office that just walks around and does impressions and he thinks he's so great and he makes fart noises and he talks about the schmoda. I think he's just nuts. Do you have any problems with that? <laughs> they asked me to be the She-Hulk. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Did you guys know that Natasha Martinez does a great Gary Busey impression? Let's watch. Uh, my name is uh, Gary Busey, and I'm going to be here. Oh, look at me. Oh, I'm looking up. I'm looking. I'm laughing. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, how are you? Nice to see you. Everyone here, look at my hair. It's really nice. Uh, the Apprentice didn't work out, so do something else. Maybe be in the Star Wars movie. Maybe just go ahead and take a nap. I'm a mad scientist. Watch me laugh. Ha, 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 ha. Look at my hair. It is beautiful. I'm looking to the left now. I'm looking to the right. I believe in bagel cheese. <laughs> There's something happening in my pants. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, like, I all this is so good. Can you use your hands to do that? No, I could do it with my mouth. <laughs> I walked myself right into it. I've had some miscuts in my day, but the one I did during Heroes today was pretty legendary. Uh, I went on for about 10 seconds. I, for the life of me, could not find David's camera. David, how about you? I think it's incredible that we're getting shows like Legion right now. I've never been more ashamed of myself in my entire life. What are those? You can't even tell that that's actually me. That's what crazy. <laughs> First of all, I love Law on Smallville, so you can, mm. anybody that says different, I like. <laughs> Come on, slowly, she was like, so slowly. hot. <laughs> she was so hot. Oh, Come on, in man. You and McGregor is going to show up in this thing, too. Hmm. Bye. <laughs> you know what's really you, intimidating is that Christian is just off camera, like the entire show. Gary, what do you think? I can still feel him breathing down the back of my neck. <laughs> the preview thing goes away. Hey, why is the show so long? <laughs> you just need to get out of here. <laughs> you said that like, like a grandpa. Well, what I was trying to say is, uh, but um, yeah, I, 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 I feel like I had a thought and then it totally escaped. How feel you? Yeah. Perry, how are you feeling? Um, so I'm giggling at like a funny tweet that I'll show you oh, after. Okay. Um, <laughs> wow! 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 
Mm-hmm. How long is this gonna be? Two forever? minutes. It's two minutes. Okay, two minutes. great. I, I can hold it. I can hold it. <laughs> oh, you're a big boy. I am. I am. <laughs> Fully trained and all. <laughs> Ready? I got a really good question okay. for you guys. Right. Behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> if I may here, the Mark Ellis Jean Claude Van Damme show is it's currently being pitched where we take a new Van Damme movie every week and we watch it. That's the show. It's like the littlest, babiest thing I've ever heard in my life. Including Obi Wan, and I, I believe that's that's. <laughs> I like Goo Gone. Why Gone? We Gone. Yeah. Do you know that I own a Kids Choice Award? For what? Uh, for the OC for Adam Brody. So my buddies all worked on the OC and when they cleaned out the office, everybody left and there was so much stuff that my one buddy took his Teen Choice Award, then his wife wouldn't let him keep it in their new house, so he gave it to me. So I have Adam Brody's Teen Choice Award on she- a surfboard and I tweet him all the time, dude, do you want your Teen Choice Award? <laughs> I have it and he has never gotten back to me. But I came in on the, ca- on the conversation where she said <laughs> that damn juice store and what I heard was I was sitting down and her said, the damn juice store. Juice. <laughs> and you know what juice shop I'm talking Don't about. Don't throw me under this bus, okay? See, even now it sounded like you said You're that. You're a creation just as much as I am. I, well, I, I did go to creation this morning. 7.15, got a chocolate lover shake. It's a good juice store. Oh, that is a good store. one. Perfect. Good. Ooh. No? No. I'm okay with that. No. I am totally okay with that. Not a lot of people know. Natasha basically shows up to the office here every day completely hammered. Hammer. Just, just, <laughs> yeah. just belligerent. What can I say, guys? Screaming. Not yeah. She's coffee. angry. Okay. There, there, there's some barista out there that's getting a shit ton of nerd ass right now because I came up with. What are we not swearing anymore? We we haven't. We got kids watching this show. It's Star Wars, man. I didn't say anything Star bad. Wars. It's PG thirteen. It said ss. Sh- ass. All right. That's, what's what's next so we can leave? <laughs> <laughs> that's it all the time we've got for you this week i hope you like this episode tell us what you think about it in the comment section below and if you want more behind the scenes we got a whole playlist of videos there are two of them right next to me check those out see you next week Frank, stop it don't squish me